Picante was it invented during the French Revolution. A man actually named Conte had um, invented it because during the French Revolution, the lead pencils that artists use, that lead was um, used for making cannonballs, which became very important, but made lead very um, scarce. So he invented Conte as a means for artists to draw. So it's been around since the French Revolution. And I'm going to show you now just some basics about Conte um, so that you can use it with confidence. The crayons versus the pencils. This is um, a sanguine pencil. And you can see that it's pretty much the same with the stick. The stick is just bolder. But this is um, pointed at ends, so you can still get a fine line with it, even if you um, work with just small pieces that you break purposely to create an edge that you can draw fine lines with. But the pencil comes in handy because you don't have to bother um, breaking your pieces. So um, use both. The one thing that's different is the white Conte pencil versus the stick. The stick is much brighter, and I don't have. I happen to not have my white Conte pencil. I forgot it at Iowa State. So um, just trust me that the pencil is harder and doesn't make as bright a white as the stick. Both come in handy when you want to shift a value to a slightly lighter one. You can use your pencil to just subtly change a value. Where if you want to change it dramatically, you would use the stick. Or if you need a really bright area like highlights, you would use the stick. So Conte is very forgiving. And I'm just going to show you, um, fill in kind of a white area on my paper. And to use a tortillion, basically I use the tip and I don't rub very hard at all, especially when it's brand new. Because if you press hard, it'll take off more than it leaves. Now, I could darken this area quite easily by using my pencil or my stick of my black. And you can see that it's very opaque. The black looks just as rich as if I drew it on the blue without the white underneath. So it's very forgiving in that way. Um, in addition, you can go over the black and lighten it. And especially if you erase first, so I'm going to erase these lines out. And yes, Conte, you can erase it out. And then I'll go over it with the white. and the black basically disappears. Now Conte works best if you layer it a lot. So don't be skimpy with it because it tends not to look good if you're real skimpy with it. Um, I'm just gonna erase this a little bit more, this black.
And again, I'm not pressing hard on the tortillion as I blend this in. And usually when I blend with Conte, I will go in a circular motion with my tortillion or blending stump. Now I'm going to show you the different techniques that you're going to use for your value scales. Um, one is cross hatching. So I'm going to do it with black so you can see the marks easily. Cross hatching means you have a set of parallel lines that go in different directions. And if they're close together, they can get build up a value of dark. So you're layering these cross sections going in lots of different directions um, to build up value. Value just means how dark or how light something is. So if this was to get a gradation of value going from light to medium to dark. All with cross hatching. That is one way to use the Conte technically. Now the next technique is blended. When you go to use a blended technique, you want to use your pencil or stick and move it in a circular fashion when you lay out your Conte. And then you're going to use your tortillion, and I'm using mostly the tip, not the side to blend the Conte. And again, a circular motion will keep it nice and streak free. And then the last technique is called scribble line. And the scribble line is literally what it describes in its title. You're going to scribble fairly tightly and fairly controlled. So you don't want to go too fast. And again, I'll build up a value. And that's how close the scribbles are to each other, as well as how hard you press with with the pencil how many layers you apply so again this is a range of value going from light to medium to dark so those are the three techniques that you're going to end up doing with your value scale now, one thing that I haven't mentioned yet that's really critical when using Conte is I like to give always a base coat of a blended surface. So in this case, you see still the blue of the paper. This paper is a lot like the gray that I asked you to purchase. It's just a slightly different hue, um, but it's about the same value. So you would see kind of the medium value in areas that you um, haven't gone over with your Conte pencil. So with um, Conte, I generally, if I'm working in a lighter area, I'll first blend, again, a circular motion with my stick. I'll first blend a layer of Conte. It doesn't have to be real thick, but it, there needs to be some kind of value besides the paper. 
So we're not actually going to show any of the paper in your drawings. It's going to be all covered with Conte. And then on top of it, I can do a scribble line. Technique. Now sometimes, I'm showing you separate colors, but a lot of times there'll be instances where you have to layer more than one color to get the value you want to achieve. Kind of looks like the coronavirus, coronavirus molecule. And that's all on top of the white. Now I could have used Sanguine for my base coat. Again, in a circular motion. And then on top of it, I'll do crosshatch. Now you can't really see the sanguine at this stage, but you'd be able to see the black. And again, I'm not pressing it hardly at all on the Conte pencil. And then I'll use white on this side. Now when you're using the two techniques of scribble line and crosshatch, you're not going to blend the crosshatch or the scribble line once you've started that technique. Those techniques, you want to see the mark that the artist made in the final layer. And again, you don't want to press hard with your Conte pencil. And you just want to um, use a fairly light touch. So that's it for now for just introducing you to the techniques of Conte. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me.